bombing. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are achieving higher energy efficiencies than electric vehicles at cruising speeds of more than 150 miles per hour. In 2024, this aircraft will take you from San Francisco to Lake Tahoe more than three times faster than an electric vehicle and for the same price as an Uber ride. In this video, I will compare the energy efficiency of the main EV tall aircraft to equivalent terrestrial alternatives such as electric vehicles. Also, we will explore the battery requirements for the different types of electric aircraft and how feasible their operation is with the current state of battery technology. Improvements in batteries are enabling several electric urban air mobility aircraft designs, with up to 300 miles of range with payload equivalents of up to 7 passengers. Urban air mobility has emerged as a platform that could transform transportation in urban areas and displace activities serviced by terrestrial vehicles. EV tall aircraft operate using vertiports, similar to helipads, with no runway, making them particularly suitable for urban environments. EV tolls are also two to six times faster than terrestrial alternatives. Unlike combustion engines, electric motor efficiency and power density are scale invariant. A large number of small electric motors could be used instead of conventional combustion-based propulsion architectures with a few relatively large propulsion units. Aircraft electrification enables distributed electric propulsion. Distributed propulsion reduces drag significantly and electric motors are about two to three times more efficient than combustion engines, resulting in higher overall efficiency for electric aircraft. This is Joe Ben Bevert, CEO and founder of Joby Aviation Explaining. The enabling breakthrough technology that makes all of this possible is distributed electric propulsion, a core part of my realization in 1993. My idea that electric motors are vastly simpler, more reliable, and more scalable so rather than a large centrally located combustion or turbine engine, instead we can distribute electric motors across the aircraft and place them in locations that deliver the greatest aerodynamic benefit. The result is an aircraft that is safe, quiet, and affordable. Each of these three foundational pillars of the design, safety, acoustics, and economics, is enabled by distributed electric propulsion. There are four broad categories of EV tall aircraft, multirotor or multicopter, lift and cruise, Vectored Thrust Tilt Rotor and Vectored Thrust Tilt Duct The power requirement in vertical flight is strongly influenced by the design parameter of disc loading, which is the ratio of maximum takeoff mass to total rotor disc area. Multi-rotors and aircraft with a larger total rotor disc area, resulting in a lower disc loading, require lower power for takeoff and landing. On the other hand, designs with a low total rotor disc area require high vertical flight power. Horizontal flight power requirements are influenced strongly by the lift-to-drag ratio. Aircraft with fixed wings that provide lift during cruise have higher energy efficiency in horizontal flight. The energy consumption per unit mile traveled for takeoff, landing, and hovering segments is much higher than the cruise segment. The total energy consumption per unit mile for a trip is directly proportional to the fraction of time spent in vertical flight. For fixed takeoff and landing segments, once an aircraft reaches the specified flying altitude, as the cruise distance increases, the overall energy consumption per unit mile for the trip generally decreases. In order to compare the energy efficiency of terrestrial vehicles like electric vehicles and EV tall aircraft we should consider. EV talls cover point-to-point -point distance and electric vehicles travel on roads with circuitous paths resulting in a longer distance covered between the same points. The US average route circuity is about 1.2. The number of occupants carried by the vehicle. In the United States, the average occupancy is 1.67. The appropriate metric to compare energy efficiency in this context is the energy consumption per unit distance per unit of payload carried. In this graph, we can see the energy consumption and range of five EV tall aircraft, representative of the diverse aircraft design space, and terrestrial alternatives, such as electric and internal combustion engine vehicles. As the length cruise segment increases with a longer flying range, the efficiency improves drastically. For a single passenger, the energy consumption of larger aircraft is generally higher. The Lilium jet uses ducted fans, resulting in high energy consumption for vertical flight due to the high disc loading. 
But as cruise length increases, the energy consumption drops rapidly compared to other aircraft due to its highly efficient cruising segment. The electric and internal combustion engine vehicles are examined at single, maximum, and expected occupancy. Kitty Hawk Heaviside is more efficient than an EV with one occupant, at ranges greater than 20 miles, and more efficient than the expected EV at ranges greater than 35 miles. Fully occupied Joby S4, Beta Alia 250, and the Lilium Jet show an energy consumption of about 156, 181 and 218 watt-hour per passenger mile respectively, at their designed flying range, all lower than the expected EV at 223 watt-hour per passenger mile. This represents a significant energy efficiency milestone for EV tall aircraft, highlighting the enormous efficiency gains that can be achieved with fixed-wing cruising. One of the crucial enabling factors for modern EV tall aircraft is the battery pack. There has been tremendous progress in the performance and cost of lithium-ion and related battery chemistries over the last decade. In this graph, we can see the battery pack specific energy and specific discharge power requirements, as defined by the range, takeoff and landing power demands of the five EV tall aircraft analyzed. A comparison with several currently available battery pack designs in electric vehicles, experimental planes, and space applications is shown. Also, the three categories for battery pack technology, based on technical readiness and commercial availability. Aircraft like the Lilium Jet that have a high disc loading, require higher power for takeoff, landing, and hover compared to other designs, combined with a high maximum takeoff mass. The specific power requirements for the Lilium Jet are much higher than other aircraft. Longer flying range requires larger battery packs, resulting in higher specific energy requirements for aircraft like the Beta Alia 250. Low range aircraft like Archer Maker require much lower specific energy, and such designs are feasible with current lithium ion batteries. The uncertainty limits for power accounts for the possibility of partial failure of the battery pack. In a scenario where only 50% of the battery pack supplies the total required power to land, this emphasizes the importance of specific power, being a more critical performance metric for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, which determines whether the aircraft can safely take off and land. On the other hand, specific energy determines the operating range of the EV tall. This video is based on the brief report, The Promise of Energy Efficient Battery Powered Urban Aircraft, first link in the description. If you want to see more on EV tall aircraft, this next video might interest you.